Today I will be sharing with you my bead jewelry collection. I hope everyone is doing well. My depression is kicking in today. I'm not sure why. I think it's just the weather. The days are so dark and gloomy and quiet. Yeah. And then if, normally I talk a lot on the phone. But lately I've been just pulling things and... uh researching information for my YouTube videos, so that might be a bit overwhelming. I might need to take a couple days break and uh, get back on the phone, <laughs> get some laughs. Yes. Um, I guess I'll start with this trade, some earrings. Hmm, no matter how many lights I have, still so dull. These are gorgeous. They're black and white. And I believe beads are like just plastic material. Unless, they, okay, so first of all, you know, beads could be anything. Gemstones, wood. But I only have like these little plastic beads today. So that's what we'll be looking at today. Um, These are kind of my favorite. I think they're like, uh, let's say... Mid-century style? Not sure. Maybe the um, 80s. And then I have these cute little... I think they're like... I'm not sure. Some little guys. They're too cute. I think they're from like maybe Spain or Mexico. I'm not 100% sure. They are so adorable. <laughs> and yes, I do wear these. <laughs> I love the colors in them. Just beautiful. And then I have these earrings. They don't have any hoops. So if you're going to wear them, you need to add hoops. Okay, well this one has the hoop. And these are really, really fun. You know, these beads, they come back from like 3,000 to 1,000 B.C. These are really, they started this long time ago. They would use seashells, pieces of wood, um, material, whatever they can get their hands on. Tree bark. This is another pair in yellow. The, um, I need to attach some hoops. I used to wear these. I don't know what happened to the hoops, but I mean, this was years ago and I still have them because they're so well done you know they individually they weave these some people even some people do them handmade with just a hand and a weave um utensils but some people actually use these like um um these like tools kind of like an extraction thing where you have like the string kind of like how you would weave cotton but something different and then it's kind of like a square box with some type of uh, round barrels on the top and the bottom. And then you would start weaving your beads onto the strings one by one. And that's how they normally make bracelets, earrings. But you can do them handmade. You don't have to have that weaving machine. And they say that these date back um, to Africa, India. You know, places like that is where they first started finding them in the tombs. This is a, a beautiful bracelet. It's purple and white, just beautiful. And it has that type of closure on it. So it's not, it's probably like vintage. and like I said these are weaved together it's an art it's definitely an art and a talent here's something a little different I wanted to show you how you can still use other beads and it's still called beading beadwork is very it's like a long range 
of beadwork. But as you can see inside, you have that same beaded that we're using today, that I'm displaying today. This is gorgeous. I never wore this. Never wore it. I'm not sure what that is, or that this is just for decoration. But it's a bracelet. And then I have this necklace. I'm not sure what was here. This is how I received it, but it's beautiful. I'm not sure what tribe it's from. Kind of has a Hispanic look. I'm not sure. Oh, the beadwork on this is to die for. It's just beautiful. So it looks like they stuff something on the inside and then they work around it. I have no idea. I've never made one of these. I used to make things similar to these when we were little, but it was out of string. But it was kind of a similar technique, but it's, it's not the same. It just kind of resembles it. So when I had bought this, I bought this in a bag of jewelry. And um, you can see this through the bag. And the lady in front of me was uh, asking, could she buy the bag? I said, ma'am, when I got here, you had been online. You didn't see that bag of jewelry sitting there? Because I got on the line and then I asked uh, one of the employees to uh, come to the jewelry counter. And she says, I never even noticed that stuff in there. And she was like, oh, that's so beautiful. She really wanted this piece. But... um. I told her I wanted it too. That's why I bought the bag just for that piece. So you can have anything else in that bag except this. So she did pull out a few other things. It was cute. We met outside. Yeah. Nice lady. I forget her name. Sharonda, I think it was. Sharina. Here's a bracelet with little ch uh, chips of glass. And then you have that beaded work around. And this isn't weave. This is just put onto a metal see it yeah like a metal string this is really well crafted I like how they put the big beads on the bottom and then the smaller beads on the outside and I showed this piece before in my seashell jewelry but I wanted to show you the white beads because I don't have any other white beads well I do have a few right there but this is so well done I mean, they take their time and they put, you see how it's all like the same steps, like small than big, small than big. It's a lot of tedious work. I um, guess you'd be there all day. Beautiful. And this is all black. a necklace and I have worn this several times I normally try to put like a pendant on it and these are like African inspired you know yeah African inspired and then you have like these this looks like uh, Hispanic inspired much sure maybe Mexico it's beautiful now this is weaving it's a whole necklace. Goes all the way up and around. And the necklace behind it is a separate necklace. So this is two necklaces on this neck holder. But this one is gorgeous. Look how they did that orange, white, black, red, and yellow. It's beautiful. It has two little banners in the front. I have worn that. And then this one is... Some little suns. I've never seen this before, but I liked it. I kept it because of the beaded necklace. So well done. And then we have these beautiful beaded earrings. Similar to the other ones, but these have glass beads attached to it. Now this kind of looks um, Indian inspired. And then this one right here says Costa Rica. That's a bracelet. I'm sure you bought that at a souvenir shop. Probably for a couple bucks. To the today, probably, you know, $40, $20. Everything's so high these days. And then I have this beaded necklace. 
This is gemstone still. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. It's very long. And then I have a lot of these little beaded necklaces on the table here. Try to get them into the light. And you know, this is just called stringing, which I do have a book on stringing right here, beadwork stringing. You just get a string and you just start beading them up. This is not really an art. I mean, this is a good project for your grandkids or, or your own kids if they're small. If you have small, even toddlers could do it. I think toddlers would need bigger beads because they couldn't get these small beads onto a string. But I like to weave it. I like to tie them like into a knot, like similar to this, and then weave them. And this right here, this is gorgeous. Now, this is a lot of work. I mean, they weaved all of this together into like braids. And this is a long, long necklace. I'm not sure how you wear it. I normally put like something on it and wear it like a bolo tie. You know, when I wear like my cowboy outfit, that's how I normally wear it. And then I have this piece here. I think it's, um, I'm not sure, Mexican maybe? I'm not really sure. It's some, it's definitely Hispanic. It's beautiful. And there's a name for these. I forget the name. I call them a tie. You see that beautiful eagle? Oh, that weaving is just beautiful. And then how they embellish those danglies on the bottom. It's just beautiful. And that design goes all the way up. Looks like flowers. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, that also looks like an arrow with something red in the middle. And you have another set of that diamond shape. And then you have this. Does that say something? I'm not sure. Or maybe just some more flowers. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite pieces. Kind of reminds me of the um, United States of America flag. How they have the eagle and then they have the red, white, and the blue. It's beautifully done. And then I have a piece like this. Now this piece right here, this is long, long. And I'm not sure what these were intended for when they made them. It's a bow on the bottom or the end. And then you, uh, it spreads out into two pieces, you see. So I normally wear them as bolo ties. Just put them on and then wrap it around my neck. It even keeps you warm when it's cold out. But, I mean, this one right here is one of my favorites because the beads are like crystal. Can you see that? Yeah, more of a high-end uh, bead, beading, beading technique. And then this red one is similar. It just has some wood beads on top. And it's really long. I love the color of it. That bright tangerine. It's just beautiful. This goes really nice with like a shirt this color or a white shirt. And this, this is a little different beading. A little different beading, but it's called stringing. And then I have these two headbands. And to me, they both look Hispanic inspired. Well, maybe this one looks African and this one is Hispanic. It's almost similar to that one with those arrow shape, but the color is just gorgeous. And these are headbands, you see. This is some type of modern. Well, maybe not modern, but it's not too old. Yeah. So you would wear these around your uh, head. Or even, you can even wear them around your neck. However, you know, when you have your jewelry, it's yours. You can wear it any way you want. And I think I've showed you all the pieces. I don't have many of these. I used to have a whole lot of beads. I... I used to have pocketbooks, um, a lot of thick bracelets. I just kind of got rid of them because there was no need to really keep them. I just kind of kept my special pieces. 
And this is a nice necklace. It's on a silver. So it's like a double bead end necklace. Very uh, vintage. It's cute. And then I have this book called Stringing. And so you see that you can be, this is kind of what we're showing you today. And they have gemstones. Well, that looks like um, rubies. Beading. See, all beading could be anything. But I kept the few. I just wanted to show you. When it comes to beading, it's good to focus on your hue colors within that color wheel. And that's what this um, this chapter talks about, design tricks. So if you want to start beading, Google some uh, hue colors first and design tricks to help you. Like, you see how all these things, like, they blend together. Um, you know, like, even, like, the pink and white, you know, it's... They didn't just pick these colors. They took their time because everything has to balance out, especially like this one. It's beautiful. My favorite my favorite are the Hispanic pieces. They're just gorgeous. I wish I knew more about them, like this one. If anyone knows them, please leave me a comment, especially this one with the eagle. And then the headband is just to die for. And what else did I save here? Oh, this beautiful. And it's funny that they have this hair because that's how I wear mine. It's like a bolo style. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that is beautiful. I wish I had that one. Uh, I got something similar. And then I have another book. It's called A Thousand Jewelry Inspirations, Beads, Baubles, Dangles, and Chains. So I went to the bead section. Let's slide this over a bit. And this is beautiful. I don't know. Is it coming through? The lighting is so off here. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is beautiful. I would love to have that beauty. I guess I might need to try to make one. It looks like they even have like a... Is that a gemstone in the middle? Or is that bead? I can't tell. But it's beautiful. I just love it. I used to have one not like that, but similar shape and size. I can't find it. Mine's just purple, light purple and white. Maybe I'll find it eventually. And this is gorgeous. It's a beaded necklace. I mean, that is to die for. It's like those shells. Look at this shells. I forget the name of that. It has a name. And, and something. And so they um, attached it to the beadwork. I'm sure it's like a patch material, and then you bead on top. But they are beautiful. And these are also called fossils, but they do have a name. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It kind of looks Egyptian. It's beautiful. And then this beautiful bracelet, it has that moon. Remember I showed you some pieces of, of that? That bone china or whatever it is. But that bracelet, it's a cuff. It's gorgeous. Now that is some beautiful weaving. And then you have bead work like that. I do have one of some similar items to that. I guess I could have bought them out today. And I have one more to show you. Oh no, I have a few, sorry. And it's earring similar to mine's. Beautiful. See how they incorporated different shapes and textures. And I'm not sure what this is, but maybe a crown? It's gorgeous. I'm not sure, but that's definitely beadwork. And so they added little trinkets. It doesn't say what it is either. Maybe in the back, because you have a cold. All these have colds on them. And this is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Oh, that is gorgeous. Beautifully done. I'm not sure what's the inspiration. I can't tell. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, that's a big, a long necklace. And there's a few on this page. I guess that's a bracelet. Another necklace. 
And then we have this beauty. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this one. Look at the lighting. It is gorgeous. It almost looks like a, a small little vintage purse. That's gorgeous. Look at how they put flowers in it. And that green, the green beading, it's gorgeous. These pieces are beautiful. Okay, well, short but inspirational video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. God bless. Oh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much. I was thinking of doing, I see several people are doing it. They're doing like a GoFundMe or Cash App link so you can get support because I need to buy some lighting, a new phone. I don't, I'm not sure. I'll think about it. But um, if anybody's interested in donate, maybe leave a comment. And that maybe that inspired me to go ahead and attach those links to my uh, YouTube channel. Okay, God bless. Thank you so much. Please subscribe.